it's uh, it's Kyle. It's Wednesday, and this week's topic is a letter to your past self. Uh, now I didn't actually write out like a formal letter because uh, I'm not really good at that kind of stuff, like preparing and then speaking. I kind of just like to um, let it flow. Yeah. So this is my letter to my past self. Hey, younger me. It's uh, Kyle here. Uh, I know you don't know that's what your name is yet, and that's okay. Uh, you're still trying to figure stuff out. Um, you're scared. And it's not because you're afraid of what people think of you. It's you're afraid to let yourself, you know, be open and accepting that, you know, what you've been told your entire life might be wrong. <sighs> and if there's one thing that I want to tell you about that, it's you need to let it go. Because you can be scared all you want and, you know, try and stop yourself from accepting who you are, but it's not going to make a difference. You're still going to end up in the same place. It's just going to be a lot harder to get there. And you need to have an open mind. You know, because I know right now you think um, you're never, you know, going to live past 18. You're never going to be happy. You're never going to feel happy or right. The hardest thing that you're going to have to do in, you know, your transition is accepting that it's something you want. Um, because you, you waste a lot of time fighting it. And your parents aren't going to be as bad as you think they are. And I know the reason you're so scared is because, you know, you hear bunch of horror stories, which a lot of times are true, and it's very scary. But you're going to be fine, and you shouldn't let other people's values deter you from being who you want to be. Another thing, go talk to someone sooner. You spend a lot of time thinking about what it meant to see a therapist. It might mean you know, you're psycho or you're crazy, um, and that you actually have like real problems that you don't want to face. And while the latter might be true, it does not, seeing a therapist does not make you psycho or crazy or whatever, you know, word you want to put to it. It just means you need someone to talk to. And it helps a whole bunch. It, it helps you open up and express your emotions a lot better. Go get help. You need it. You're struggling. And talking to someone makes your life so much better. You know... And don't start taking it out on yourself. It's not worth it. It doesn't help anything. And at the time, you think it makes you feel better, but it makes you feel a lot worse. And um, maybe if you talked to someone sooner or gotten the help you needed sooner, you wouldn't have gotten to that. Um, and I know you're having a lot of thoughts about, you know, your place in the world and trying to make sense of everything, but you do have a place in the world. And it may not seem significant right now, but it will be one day, every day um, of your life is significant. Um, it's all a journey. And you need to be there for it. You need to continue to be there for it and be present. So stay strong, kid. Because um, no one else is going to stay strong for you. And you just got to get through it. Because one day, you know, you might not realize it, but you'll be celebrating you know, being over a year on T and having Tom surgery 
and starting to feel um, accepted in places and more comfortable in your own skin. And um, just overall happier. You know, you're still going to have your bad days. That, that comes with the territory. But it's better. You're happier. You know, you've got a good support system and a good amount of friends who love you. And it's worth it. So, just be there and stay there. You'll get through it. Thank you guys. Um, my Tumblr's down below if you uh, want to talk to me. And I'll see you next week.